And I have never, ever, 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 ever been charged of rape. When you think of the ultimate black man, you think of someone who's physically fit. You think of someone who's handsome and well-dressed. Someone who has a lot of money and who's cool as the other side of the pillow. Not someone who's 630 pounds like Gabe Bell. Yes, Gabe is really 630 pounds. It says so on his suspended license. Just zoom in. Now Gabe wasn't born 630 pounds. So how did he get that big? To put Gabe's weight into context, Gabe weighs more than a grizzly bear, zebra, vending machine, and a grand piano. However, Gabe isn't the only fat one in his family. His brother Stephen is well over 500 pounds himself. Gabe's weight problem has caused problems with his love life. One of his made-up girlfriends left him because of his weight. But that doesn't stop him from fronting on his radio show like he's a player. In this clip, Gabe acts like he gets a lot of women when there's no actual proof of it. But I'm a bigger guy, and according to society, I ain't supposed to be getting women like that. But I have very, very, very beautiful exes, and the women that I entertain to this day are extremely beautiful and nice. And, and, and very nice on the eyes. They're very nice looking. But I compensate for not having a six pack with my personality and my charm. I'm a Gemini, so I'm super charming. And women love charming men. And it's not really hard to be charming. Now, does it come natural for me? Yes, because I'm the goat, right? I am the goat. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> When talking with our sexy decoy Helia, Gabe can't keep his story straight when discussing his relationship past. Despite the initial skepticism, Gabe fell in love with our decoy in a matter of hours, and he showed how creepy and desperate he really is. Mm-mm, see... If you follow me any amount of time, you know how I feel about cooperation. So, follow my lead here. And how do you say your name? It's Aaliyah, right? I'm not gonna lie. If you real, like for real, real, is lit. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you're real. I'll know you real when we when we FaceTime. But if you're real, it's lit. I just don't I just don't know, Aaliyah. You know, as a content creator, I got a lot of people that hate me and will love to set me up. You know, I got a couple exes that are a little crazy. I'm just saying. So, yeah, I got to see what's up. And so I sent three, and you need to do the same. Listen, I'm going to be honest. You know, I, I know you said you made the new page and everything, but it just, I don't know. It seems a little suspect. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I haven't stopped talking to you, so we will see. We will see. Is it? It's Aaliyah, right? It is Aaliyah, correct? I hope I'm saying it right. But, I mean, it's a new page. You're hitting me up. You're in my DMs. You're the exact type of women I tend to date. Slim. Chocolate. Beautiful. I don't know, Aaliyah. I don't know. Seems a little strange. So I just, you know, I, you got to earn my trust. We'll see. Like, you could be a catfish. 
you, someone could be pretending to be you. I don't know. I hope not. I hope someone wouldn't want to do this. But again, I have a, a, a decent sized following. It's not huge, but it's medium size across all my platforms. I have about 20,000 people follow me. So, yeah, I just, I'm just being cautious, that's all. Also, what I can say is I do know that you're a woman. I don't think you're a guy doing this because you did send that voice note. So I think we're good there. In addition to being a self-proclaimed player, Gabe calls himself a dating coach, relationship expert despite not having a date in years. That's not the worst of it. Gabe actually charges for his services. Not only is Gabe a cheat, a con man, and a thief, he is also an internet bully. In our conversation with Donovan, he discusses his run-in with Gabe. Hey, sorry about that. I can't uh, really type. I'm driving. Uh, yeah, so he's talking shit. This fat fucking 630 plus pound grown man who's a rapist, a cheat, a fraud, is talking shit about me. That picture's like over 10 years, probably maybe 10 years old. That picture's so old. I mean, he's just, he's just corny. He's so upset, like he's so mad. Yeah, I let his goofy little followers will eat it up. And then when he's arrested and, and you know, in jail, I wonder what they're all going to have to say then. To say he's a low-down son of a bitch is an understatement, in my opinion. I mean, what man is so broke? And, and listen, everybody goes through problems with, with money. It doesn't matter who you are. I ain't saying I'm the richest dude. I'm not saying I'm the, I'm the brokest dude. But you know, I can maintain but you sitting here, you know, making it seem like you're something that you're really not. And then you're talking down on others. But then you lying to people. And you're fucking raping women. Yo, you raping women, dude. Like, what? And then talking about you get all these kind, get all these women and shit. Like, bro, use a motherfucking predator out here, dog. You a predator, bro. Oh, God, man. And then begging this woman to drop the drop the lawsuit. Are you? He, he's sick, man. He need he need to be in jail. Like I know y'all trying to take this dude down. Listen, y'all can use whatever evidence, any kind of conversation I've ever had with him. You could use him trolling me, whatever talking shit. Cause I got my shit together. I will happily testify if I need to. I'm, you know, y'all be happy, man. Fuck this. He's a scumbag. He's straight literal fucking scum. I haven't met him personally. Uh, I just, you know, know him through Facebook or whatever. I forgot. I, th I think he played Street Fighter at one point, if I remember correctly. Um, and then, you know, lately, he just started. Not lately, but, you know, a couple years ago, he started this whole, these long posts, these diatribes about black men and all, all, all kinds of shit. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to parent it to women about us. But he doesn't have his life together. You know, I found it very... First, I thought it was a joke. Then I started finding it very strange. But something was like, man, like, I gotta say something. I noticed a lot of other people started saying something too, calling him out on his bullshit. But this dude, um, yeah. Let me see. He may have tried to speak to me about something one time. Yeah. I, I, I can't associate... You know, with somebody like that, um, whether it be in real life, social media, I can't, man. You do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want somebody like, like you know, that around, like, my family and friends. Like, no. I mean, look, I, I don't think, I don't just think, oh, you know, oh, you're guilty and proven until proven innocent. I don't see why your friend would lie. I mean, this dude that you can tell the dude is several mug shots, and that ain't no way you don't just you don't just make some shit like that up. With with the proof to back it up, he came out and apologized about what he did. You know, like 
this isn't an Amber Heard situation or nothing like that. I, I fully a thousand and ten percent believe your friend. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, it's horrifying and sick what he did to her. I mean, the writing's on the wall. You don't constantly pander to these kind of, to, you know, to these kind of individuals. And then all this evidence comes up in the minute, you know, you, you know, the minute that I start uh, telling people about what you did or what I, what was sent to me, um, then all, all of a sudden you block me. Ain't no way. I mean, there's no no way somebody would just go out of their way to make an entire Twitter page dedicated to his wrongdoings unless you're truly scum. I looked at the fat bitch and knew he was a fraud because I'm not an idiot. Like, I seen somebody share one of his essays. I read two sentences. I barely watched his video. I had one question. Are you married? That shit him over the fucking edge. Like, fat men, they're so hormonal. They're really mentally fucking unstable. And I knew that already. You get what I'm saying? I just didn't know the shit was this deep. Like, he raped the bitch. He's in fucking sky high debt, which is no surprise. And I knew his ass was broke because one of his speaking points, because I literally, I just scrolled his entire page and did different search terms and shit. He talks about men making uh, less than $40,000 a year. That's, that's a very precise amount. And I already came to the conclusion he says forty k because he makes maybe $40,500. You get what I'm saying? He's a broke bitch too. Come to find out he works for a fucking temp agency as a customer service agent. Yeah, I just, that's why bitches get on my nerves because bitches is slow. Bitches is so narcissistic. They eat anything up even if it's from a fat sorry motherfucker. The reason why he's doing all this is to get pussy. I know his type. I swipe left on them all the time on dating apps. Fat motherfuckers like him don't get pussy unless a bitch really need $40 and they fuck them in their house and don't go outside with them because they're fat as hell. He's using this opportunity to boost up bitches with poor vaginal management and ins who are insecure. He's geeking up their heads so he can fuck them. I believe he's going to become famous off this shit because black women are that stupid. And in his fat 650 pound trail between food crumbs and must and sleep apnea and shit, he's also going to leave a bunch of baby mamas. He's going to get bitches because of this, because bitches give out sympathy pussy. I'm sorry, but as a woman, I just don't want to listen to anybody bash their own fucking gender. I don't want to listen to women hate women, women hate men, men hate women, men hate men. I, that shit is just, it's retarded and you can just tell like who has a life and who don't. In a real world where people have shit to lose, they're not on Facebook like Gabe making these controversial ass posts and these stupid ass statuses. They're not doing that because they actually have something to lose. And real people will look at him like he's weird. A few months ago, Andrea Harris from Gabe's hometown decided to come forward with her story. Andrea briefly posted one of Gabe's text messages after the assault. After his assault, Gabe continued to harass prominent women online. April Mason, Nicole Michelle, Crystalyn Kazarin, and Saucy Spice to name a few. I have an explanation of what's going on. I do want you to know that I have never, ever, 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 ever been charged of rape or sexual assault like this idiot right here is saying that I have been accused of. Ladies, can we be honest? Most modern black men today. 
Didn't you rape somebody in college? A black woman? You should not be speaking to us. For black women and their income, most black men would be. Hey, uh, is this you, man? Um, why is it that everybody that pander towards black women and bash black men always got something grimy? So, this is you. Hmm, this isn't a very good look for you, sir. And now you're pandering towards the same group of women that you've actually tried to physically attack in the real world? Yeah, I, should, I would stop if I were you. Ladies, can we be honest? Most modern black men today... Hey gang, maybe when you're done doing all this pandering, you could tell us about the essay case you called on that young lady. We just a little curious. The people want to know. To cover up his legal woes with women, Gabe has turned into a pander bear that advocates for women. Could not come and see about her? That really pissed me off. That really pissed me off. We have all these stories running around here of our black women getting snatched, put in vans, their organs are being taken, they're put in sex trafficking rings, never to be heard from again, and this nigga told the mother of his children to get an Uber. What the hell? I, I don't know who raised you niggas. And why you would think that is okay, that is not okay. As a man, I don't care if you're not with this woman or not or what, she's the mother of your children. You don't tell her in this climate where all these black women are going missing, we got 60,000 damn women missing across the country, and this nigga told her to get an Uber in the fourth largest city in the country, and he'll see about her later. That's what he told her. You women need to stop laying up with these sorry ass niggas that's, that's laid up. Y'all sit up, y'all lay up with them. You let them nut all in. You give you all these kids. And when you need them to come change a tire, give your oil change. Gabe's crimes don't end with sexual assault. Gabe has been arrested numerous times for driving without a license. Gabe doesn't care though. As seen in this video and many others, Gabe is shown recording TikTok videos in someone's car. As stated earlier in this documentary, Gabe has no known girlfriend, and that has led into much speculation about his sexuality. Gabe is probably not gay, but he might be bisexual. Gabe gets upset when people ask him about his sexuality. Ah, yes, right there, guys. Another famous question I'm always asked by these dudes. Now, normally I wouldn't address this, but I just got a haircut and I needed a reason to, you know, show it off. But I'm always curious. You know, I built my platform holding black women accountable, and you dudes were nowhere to be found. I never had you guys questioning my sexuality, asking who I was dating. But as soon as I started holding black men accountable, I get all these weird questions from y'all. Who you dating? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you gay? When was the last time you had sex? I don't know. It's giving homoerotic. It's really weird to ask me this. Stop doing this, man. I used to attend Gabe's family church, so I know him and his family very well. Him and his brother are both two fat, effeminate church mama boys. I mean, they're really fat. Hey, yeah, I think Gabe is gay. I'm from Memphis, and I see him a lot around town. I've never seen him with a girlfriend. The only thing I ever seen Gabe with is a bag of groceries. Child, my name is Rico. And I'm from Memphis, too. I don't live very far from my old boo, Gabe. And there is a lot of speculation about Gabe being gay. But I can honestly say that me and Gabe used to date back in the day. 
Gabe is a very confused individual. I don't know if he's outright gay or if he's bisexual, but I think we can all agree that he's definitely in love with him some food. Yes, God hunting. Again, I don't eat just a ton. It's just like I can't like according to my what I researched on my body type. I can't afford cheat days. Like my body type really can't afford cheat days. My mom was having a snack attack come out some she wanted a snack so I went out here and got her a Oreo cheesecake milkshake because that's what she got a craving for. And my brother he decided he wanted him something to eat too because he hadn't eaten so got him a number three and a lot forty four size lemonade slush. And I'm sure you're asking yourselves, now Gabe, what are you doing? You're cheating on your diet. What did you get? And the question and the answer to that question is I didn't get anything. Now, if most of you know me, I love Sonic's Master Blast. Like, a, a, a large one's going to get smashed around here, like, destroyed. But I didn't get anything. Nothing. Because I got body goals. I'm trying. I was spending some time with my mom, and she was running errands. And um, we decided to stop by Burger King to get something to eat. Now, I know my big ass definitely didn't eat no Burger King. Y'all know I'm on my diet plan with my nutritionist. I've been losing weight. Talk to me nice. Gabe's next hobby next to eating and assaulting women is pocket watching black men. Gabe gives his thoughts on 40K via his mama's couch. Ladies, if you really want to step your game up, you got to stop giving broke Negroes coochie. And I know these dudes are going to come on here and say, well, broke is relative. But any man only making about 40K doesn't deserve no coochie. Gabe has some nerve talking about men who make 40K considering he's unemployed and is in a quarter million dollars in debt. See, when I get married, my wife ain't going to pay shit. Miss, there is a difference between a panderer and a man holding other men accountable. I'm going to ask you a question, and I really want to see you answer it. How can a man hold another man accountable for everything that he's been speaking on? If you listen to all of his subject points, how can he hold another man accountable at those subject points? And he himself can't even do it for himself. He's talking about men. I, I saw his articles. I saw his things on um, the radio thing. Men who make $40,000 don't deserve a woman. You do know he's unemployed. I mean, he's literally unemployed. 
If he's trying to tell you he works at Kelly Service as an IT technician, that's a lie. Kelly Services let him go. I called and checked myself. I, I had to see it to believe it for myself to see if he was really that. He doesn't work there. He doesn't work anywhere. He's talking about men need to have this and they have that. He doesn't have his driver's license. He's driving somebody's car and he's driving it illegally because you see how many times he's gotten arrested in his city for being stopped when driving. Okay? He's 35 years old and he lives at his mother's address. He doesn't have his own place. He lives at his mother's house. Tiffany Marie, Bobby Drake, Gigi Richards, and Amanda Ellis. Hopefully jail. No one knows. But you can fool some of the people some of the time. But you can't fool all of the people all of the time. Time is up for you ultimate black man.